Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. I recently picked up this uh, Chas Parker 974 um, bench vise uh, for an early Father's Day present for myself. And it looks a little better now than when I first picked it up. And I, I started with the pictures of it, um, got a couple of pictures there. I started cleaning it up and then realized I kind of wanted to do a video on the restoration of this. Um, this, jo this vise has uh, four inch jaws and the jaws are interesting um and i one of these pins so the jaws are held on by pins instead of screws and one of the pins was missing on on this jaw and so i've already popped the other one out but um as you can see the jaws are interesting on these um, but they fit nicely they look clean uh, the handle is non-original um the screw is not original. This is this is original. The thing works well. Still has the original uh, wrench that loosens it up and allows it to rotate all the way around. Uh, lettering all looks good. And again, I've already done I've done a bit of wire wheeling on this to get it cleaned up. Um, but so uh, we're going to go ahead and restore this. And the first thing that we're going to do is uh, take it all apart and. Uh, finish wire wheeling all of the uh, rust off of it and getting it cleaned up. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, to get this thing taken apart, um, I went ahead when I first got it, I sprayed uh, a lot of the connections with a good deal of uh, PB Blaster, which is supposed to help things break loose. Um, and I did, I did already have this taken apart and I put it back together when I realized I wanted to do a video. So um, we're going to go ahead and take it apart now. It's going to be easy because, again, it's already happened once, but I wanted to show you all how everything came apart. Um, the jaws are held on with, like I said, pins. And I've already taken those pins out, um, and I'll probably end up remaking new pins for it because two of them were minimal and one of them was non-existent. And then uh, this jaw was actually in, it worked great when I first got it. It had been greased, been taken care of. Um, so the fact that I'm not having to beat this out is not surprising to me. Right, so that's it. <clears throat> like I said, this was much easier than it actually was to get taken apart um, the first time. I I apologize for not getting that on camera. Um, everything about this looks pretty good, barring the non-original uh, handle for the screw. Uh, so <clears throat> at this point, <clears throat> I was taking uh, both a cup wire wheel as well as this one. Um, to clean up most of the heavy rust that was on this. Um, and that, I was about halfway through that when I decided to videotape it. So uh, now we're going to uh, go ahead and finish up cleaning up uh, the rest of these pieces with the wire wheels.
So I've noticed in all of my uh, watching other people do vice restoration videos that not very many of them talk about their process for finishing the metal. Most use some sort of paint or oil, but they don't really go into details. They just do most of what you've seen here, which is a quick time lapse over the process. Um, what you're seeing here is I'm masking off all the areas I don't want any finish on. And then I go ahead and paint on uh, boiled linseed oil. And once this is painted on, I then go ahead and bake it. And I suggest doing this in an outdoor smoker or grill or something like that. But it gets baked between two and 400 degrees for a very long time, basically until it stops smoking. And what it does is it takes all the moisture out of the boiled linseed oil and leaves you a hard, beautiful amber finish on it. So I did just want to take a few minutes and talk about that process and then I will go ahead and let you watch it happen. So I wanted to take a minute and talk about how I finished the portions of the vise that didn't get the boiled linseed oil finish. Um, as you can see here, I'm using uh, Johnson's Paste Wax to coat the interior of the vise. And this part of the vise was actually really rusty uh, when I picked it up. And so I wanted to make sure to do something to keep that from happening again. Um, in my research, uh, Johnson's Paste Wax finishes to a dry finish, so it won't be slippery like grease. Um, that I'm going to be using on the screw, but will allow things to slide and keep rust from forming. So uh, again, this is what we're doing now, covering all those things with the Johnson's Paste Wax, and then we will see the final assembly.
So that's the side-by-side -side comparison for before and after. Additionally, you just saw me create the pins that hold the jaws on. They're a little long still, so I might trim them down a little later, but not until they get in the way. Um, I did have to uh, grind down some stainless steel stock I had lying around, as well as upset the metal a little bit um, so that it would stay in the channels designed for the pins. Um, anyways, this is the completion of my Chas Parker 974. Thank you for watching. Um, if you could like, comment, and subscribe below, it'd be really appreciated. Hope you'll join me for some future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.